Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be playing around with the golf. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, thanks for tuning in, and if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell to stay up to date with my shenanigans. With that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty boys, so, been having some electrical issues with the Golf um, in the past, and currently there's been engine lights and stuff like that. I've bought myself an OBD-11. I used to have one when I had my R32 Golf. And I sold it with the car, thinking I'd never buy a uh, Vag again. So I uh, went out and bought another one with the Pro Pack. So I'm going to hook this up. I've still got my old account that I've logged into. So hopefully we can add my bonus points that I bought. And uh, yeah. Uh, I'll do a screen recording of my iPhone and uh, we'll put it up on the screen and I'll just talk over it. Alright boys, so I don't know how long it's been, five years maybe since I've had one, but this is so much smaller now. It comes with a key ring, like you can have it on your key ring. Look at that, that's all it is. It's pretty cool. Also came with a magnet that will go onto the back of your iPhone and go into one of the vents so you can see it while you're driving. I might do that um, sometime in this episode, probably another day though. So uh, let's plug this in. So OBD port which is down there near the, uh, the hood release. I can't reach it. Oh. Trust me, it's down there. Okay, guys. So, just to sync everything up, I'm going to touch garage. As you can see. <laughs> oh, my poor baby. There's the old R32. Alright. So, great. You're going to get all these pop-ups. Anyways. Um... I need to hook up this one because I haven't connected to this one before. Update. It's connecting. Password. Bonus. Would you like to add to this account pro version? This was for 200 bonus credits. Pro. So the plan is in the future to have more vehicles from um, VAG, Volkswagen Auto Group. Hmm, it's not. Put it into the VIN, so I think it's in the boot. All right, so yeah, just add it in. It's got the golf. It is a golf golf GT. 
Okay. The Golf GT. It's a five door hatchback. Done. Okay. No production date, blah blah blah. Engine unknown, image. I can add an inch mileage. Apps. Rear fogs and parking light brightness. Front parking light brightness. Lock, unlock visual information on remote. These are different points. I'm probably going to have to purchase some points. Full service reset. Heater unlock. Wow. Okay. Control units. Status. I'll be back. Listen to this once it connects. 12.8. What's going on? I'm my other one. You used to go through the whole system. You could hear it going through the speakers, you could hear it going through like all the solenoids. Ah, there we go. Finally connected. All right. I'm going to tap to scan. Here we go. That's where it goes. <laughs> oh, no. It's flashing stuff. Air conditioning. Feedback, steering column. Six comfort system passenger door radio. Here we go. <laughs> Fourteen pop ups. <laughs> Fourteen, sixteen problems. So that was probably the outer market, but let's check, uh, see if we can check them. How do we check it? <laughs> Can't even check it. <laughs> no, don't want to clear them. All right. So engine. Two faults. Alright. Let's 
Shrink control unit are they? Faults. All right. So overboost. Intermittent. System performance. All right. So I believe we have fixed them. Um, the missus thought that went away. Um, because the light went out, but I said, no, nah, it's just stored now, which it is. So I'm going to clear those. That was after I did the water pump supercharger clutch that I think that's fixed it. So I'm pretty sure it's fixed it. So we'll go back. So now we'll go radio. Ten. I can't hold that on. I'll just turn it down. Combination. Alright, so it looks like everything has cracked it at me. That might have been from having it apart and it's not actually showing up so i'm going to clear all them hopefully it's right rear basis for intermittent intermittent antenna Inter might have been because i had to pet the i might not have disconnected battery i can't remember anyway let's clear those Right rear door. Here we go. This is what I really put this for. Right rear door central locking. Motors locking lock motors. Static. All right. Rear door central locking lock motors. Turn. Okay. Yeah, we'll take a screenshot of that. Um, so I'm not going to remove that because it has not been fixed. So we've got passenger door, faults, passenger door lock, lock motor again, faults, sorry. Lock unit, central locking unit. So again, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. I'm not going to clear that. So we've got that, that. We're all good. All right, back soon. Dinner's ready. Alrighty guys, just to wrap up this episode with Volkswagen, I'm actually going to head out to one of the wreckers and pick up um, the two door locks um, for the right rear and for the left front, and then we'll come back and see if I fixed it. So, if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.